Hi, I'm Dr. Cam Sapa, CEO of Maximus. I'm also a medical school professor where I train psychiatry residents and a licensed clinical psychologist where in my private practice, I do executive coaching with the top CEOs and athletes. And the reason that I started Maximus is because I'm here to bring the science of health and hormone optimization in a way that's clinically meaningful and actually makes a real difference in your life. So I'm gonna send you seven videos over the next seven days. And if you feel like it's too much, totally fine. Feel free to unsubscribe. But I promise you that if you just listen for a few minutes a day, that you're gonna be a lot more educated than most men when it comes to health optimization. So let me tell you a little bit of a story that's kind of the philosophy behind Maximus. A few years ago, I watched this BBC documentary that was about the science of hormones. And a professor was actually studying a track team. And what he did is he measured what's called their 2D to 4D digit ratio. Basically the ratio of the length of your pointer finger to your index finger. And the greater the discrepancy between these two fingers, the higher the amount of testosterone that you were exposed to in the intrauterine environment, basically when you're in your mom's womb. He basically stack ranked all the track athletes in terms of their ratios. The higher the ratios at the top of the list, lower the ratios at the bottom of the list, because he actually thought it would predict their athletic performance. So after he made that list, he had them go run a race together and he almost got it exactly right on the dot in that the majority of the people that he thought would do well, they actually performed incredibly well. They won the race. The people who had the lowest ratios performed the poorest. Now this was an incredible discovery when I was watching this because I was like, wow, that's incredibly impressive. Just by measuring two fingers, you can predict someone's athletic performance. But on the other hand, I also thought it was kind of depressing because I was like, well, then does it matter how hard you train? Because you know, the amount of hormones that you were exposed to that's based on your genetics and your environment basically predict your destiny, right? Well, what can you do about it? But that got me really curious and thinking, well, what if there is something that you could do about it? What if there was science that could show that you're not just doomed to whatever your genetic destiny and genetic and environmental destiny is in terms of your testosterone levels. Is there a way if testosterone is so predictive of performance to actually increase it? And if there was a cheat code, if there isn't an unfair advantage that's out there, is there one that's legal? Is there one that's safe? Is there one that's effective? And if there was, well, who wouldn't want to take it, including myself? And that's exactly what I discovered. And I'm going to share more about what that is in later videos. But one last thing that I wanted to share about testosterone. Testosterone is the hormone of winners, as I was talking about. It does predict performance, but there's no point of winning if you're going to be unsportsmanlike or unchivalrous or unethical about it. So in my opinion, in order to be a superior man, you're going to have to learn to channel that newfound energy and power in a way that's positive, pro-social and productive. And that's why I really wanted to avoid starting a pill mill, like a lot of the other telemedicine companies out there, that they just shill drugs without being concerned about how they're used. I always say if we double testosterone levels of men across the country, but they go act like douchebags, we haven't done any good for the world, right? So rather, I've spent my whole career doing therapy and coaching with top performing executives and athletes. So I know the importance of the psychological and the behavioral side as well, which is part of the Maximus King protocol. And I'm going to share those strategies with you in our podcasts and our emails. So thanks so much for joining us on this journey together. I hope that it's really educational. And you know, part of my job is to sift out the difference between the real science and the snake oil. I'm not going to throw a bunch of biohacky tips about, you know, freezing yourself in cold water or doing any sort of extreme behaviors, but giving you really solid science that makes a clinically meaningful difference that's practical and in, that you can incorporate into your life and it's going to really make you look, feel and perform better because that's what life is all about. It's not just about living as long as possible, but it's living with high quality of life with great intentionality, with great mission and purpose. And that's what Maximus is all about. So thanks so much for signing up for our email newsletter. And I'm really excited to share more on a consistent basis with you about the science of optimizing your health and your well-being. Thanks.